little video real quick, kind of breaking down our process and how we work. I'll start by saying that I am an insurance restoration contractor, and uh, I do believe that you would qualify to get your roof replaced by your insurance company, as well as the other water damages and whatnot covered. And the only thing that I want to get from you is your deductible. I will work the rest of it out with your insurance company so that you can get taken care of properly. Um, what you've resulted from is some wind damage on your roof. This is the damages that your insurance company are going to cover. A majority are some are hail and wind damages. You have lots of missing tabs on your roof as well as crease tabs on your roof. The reason why these matter is because the wind picks these up and it begins to make them weaker in this area. The granules fall out and over time it'll fall off and, and that shingle, it'll leak in that area. Kind of like the leaks that you have right now. Now, the, what makes your insurance company replace the roof is how sporadic the damage is and the repairability of the roof. So this is an example of the roof that I was dealing with the other day that I got approved. It was a little bit difficult because the, it's a large roof and the damage was kind of here, 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 and here. So at first, the insurance company just wants to replace this slope, this slope this slope and this slope but if you work with me i'll be able to get them to replace the full roof because i have codes and things i can cite like the specific way that i got this one approved was that i cited to the insurance company that i would have to overlap my underlayment six inches past the hips and ridges um to to do the to do the replacement to code and at that point they did they did, had to replace the the front slopes and the other slopes as well because uh, they were too brittle to be repaired as well. So uh, the age of your roof and the brittleness is, is what's making the, the small amount of damages that you have sporadic across the roof be approved from your insurance company for a replacement. Now, you also said you had some water damages on the inside of your house. Because of the shingles missing on the roof, that is a wind created opening and a reason for your insurance company to cover these damages on the inside. So I would be able to get these covered too. And it's only gonna be under that one deductible. So that's gonna be your only cost to get all this damage taken care of. And a lot of people that have this pop ceiling in their house and they don't like it so that's one upgrade I can throw in for free I'll go ahead and scrape your ceilings get rid of the popcorn prime the ceilings get rid of the stain and go back with a smooth ceiling we'll have to put some mortar up there to hide the imperfections of, that's what the acoustic has done a lot of times is to hide the imperfections of the ceiling but we'll get it looking good and right and uh, we'll get those water stains going also if it I did I think you mentioned there was some multiple rooms affected in the house so uh, what we'll do is we'll move all your contents out we have a large enclosed trailer that we can put those large things in to get them out of the way and, and safely out of harm's way while we're doing the uh, interior process it takes us generally uh, about two days to to uh, handle these water stains and whatnot to get them taken care of and restored uh, now I'm gonna get your insurance company to cover everything in this process except for one thing and that's the the uh, the wood up under the roof it is, if it's rotten like this is right here I will have to have you cover that and what I do is I cover the first two sheets that I find after that it's $50 per additional sheet of OSB now, I'm ultra conservative with how I handle this as you can see that's a half a piece of wood right there so what my guys were able to do is cut it out along the truss and there was only a rotten split uh, place here so they were able to replace half a piece of wood in this situation so uh, that one piece of wood is going to cover two rotten spots now so uh, to be specific in this situation this person's house they had 11 rotten spots on their house and we were able to only replace six pieces of wood so I only had to charge them for four because like I said I cover the first two so uh, the only thing this person had to pay was their thousand dollar deductible plus uh, you know for four pieces of wood which I think was $192 um, I did charge $48 a sheet for the wood but I do say 50 for simple number so to speak now you do have a three tab roof right now and the only thing that your insurance company is going to pay to put back is this three tab roofing system however i'm going to upgrade you to an architectural roof for no extra charge and some other upgrades i'm going to throw in there are like painting of these vents and i'm going to replace all these vents as well um have your insurance company pay for the replacement but they won't pay for the painting i'm just going to do that to kind of take uh, an extra step now some other things i'm going to give you for free is i'm going to throw in an upgraded warranty now my warranties are going to be provided by gaf the shingle manufacturer they're going to put a 50-year warranty on their shingle as well as a 10-year warranty on my labor not at base they put a five-year warranty on my labor because i'm a master elite contractor with them but i'm going to buy you an upgraded warranty that's going to give you a 10-year warranty on the labor that's because i really believe in, in the product i'm putting out i know there's not going to be any problems with it and if there is i'll be happy to come out and, and get them taken care of for you um, 
Um, and uh, where this makes a difference and kind of gives you a peace of mind too is most roofing contractors are going to offer you this big long warranty but it's completely useless because statistically speaking roofing contractors are only going to be in business between one and two years on average now we've been in business since 2004 so i don't think we're going anywhere i don't plan on going anywhere but this does eliminate that concern so like if we were to go out of business tomorrow your warranty would still be upheld and another master league contractor would be able to come take you out within that 10 or take care of you uh within that 10 year 10 year period now uh, other steps and free upgrades that i'm gonna give you is i'm gonna put some pill and stick ice uh pill and stick starter strip on the edge of the roof this goes around the entire perimeter of the roof whether it be rakes or eaves and what this does is it seals to the roof completely on one side and on the on the edge down here if you see that little line right there that's going to be a sealant strip for the shingle to attach to and that's going to keep the wind from ever getting under the edge of the roof this is the most susceptible place of the, uh for wind to get is up under the edge of the shingles but that's going to stop it from ever getting up under the edge also i'm going to put this ice and water shield membrane in all of your valleys and penetrations flashings any of your trouble areas that are, are going to be potential for the leaking in the future we're going to put this ice and water shield membrane in that area to kind of give you an extra layer of protection there so another thing is too that you do have a lot of missing shingles on your roof your insurance company would like you to mitigate this as soon as possible being that you have water coming inside the house and if they do see that this water damage is prolonged it's, it's like happening over time they can deny this water damage if you don't have a tarp on your roof so what i do for you if you do decide to commit to me is i'll go ahead and throw that tarp on there it won't be no charge to you i'll charge your insurance company for it on the back end so to go over the insurance process entirely again just to give you a quick run back first thing i'm going to do is ask you for your commitments commit to me that i'm going to be the contractor completing the work if i put in the time to get it approved for you and getting it paid for correctly and then the next thing i'm going to do is call in a claim for you as soon as i get your commitment i'll call in a claim we'll get the ball rolling and then the next thing they're going to schedule for an adjuster to get out here all right, so once I schedule for that adjuster, if you'll let me know when he's planning to be there, I will meet with him on site to show him the damages. In your case, it's a pretty obvious slam dunk. I really don't need to be there, but I'm just gonna be there to help him any way that I can. I'll have my ladder set up for him when he gets there as well as um, aerial measurements uh, that I'll share with him when he gets there or her because they, they sometimes have to pay for those. And if I can share those with them, uh, that makes a friend right off the bat. <clears throat> now, like I said, yours is a slam dunk. They're gonna pay for it. I'm, I'm confident in my mind there's there's no, there's not gonna be any issue with them paying for it right off the bat. Now, the only thing I'm really gonna be there is to just try to make sure that they pay for it correctly, get everything included in the initial estimate as far as I can. Now, when it comes to money, I don't want any money from you. I'm not gonna collect, we don't collect any money until the roof is completely complete now the insurance company is going to split the money they give you up into a few different checks we'll collect the first payment they give you once the roof is complete as well as the deductible the day that everything is completely done once we're done we'll collect that deductible from you in that first payment and at that point your out-of-pocket expense is over once you pay your deductible we're just going to be collecting the money that the insurance company gives you from there on out they're going to give you two more checks one for the depreciation they initially withheld and one for the uh, supplement which is the additional amount that they, I can get them agreed to now let me show you why uh, some more differences between me and the uh, most contractors first this is just some pictures of the roof that i completed in some different colors that's the first one was pewter gray this one's charcoal it's the darkest roof and uh this one's gonna be like a brown it's a weathered wood this is my favorite color to pick my it's like a lot of modern structures today are going with weathered wood and i just really like the color uh however some houses it just doesn't go well like uh white houses i I have to take a second look at your house but it just doesn't go well with uh like a white vinyl houses and uh, with black on them and whatnot but otherwise you can pick any color you want we got multiple color options <clears throat> this is shake wood this is peter gray oh uh, this is some reviews uh this is one of my reviews from you, one of my customers for shane great roofing experience shortly after tornado jacob showed up uh on a holiday this was thanksgiving and to put a temporary patch on a roof he kept me informed and uh kept me informed while american roofing took care of everything with dealing with the insurance company to scheduling the work to negotiating with the insurance company we're going to get the best settlement from your insurance company so that you don't have to worry about us doing a poor job on your roof we're going to get paid correctly to do a proper a proper job on your roof we're not just some chuck in the truck that's going to come out here and do it the cheapest way possible we are putting a quality product on your roof and i encourage you to check out our reviews online you know we might have a, like a handful of, of bad reviews on on hundreds of, of good reviews and, and most of them they're not even to do with the quality of the product so if you would check out our reviews i think you'll be impressed with those as well now to get to the estimating uh side of it, this is an initial estimate that an insurance company given me uh so initially they estimated it to cost around eleven thousand dollars to replace this roof as you'll see right there and uh, they're going to separate 
they're gonna itemize everything. So each process is gonna have uh, uh, an itemized for it or an item for it. So like the tearing off of the shingles, the shingles themselves, they're replacing the shingles, the felt. So like it, I'm, I'm outlining here that they paid for a 15 pound felt, which is no longer code in the area. They just probably use synthetic felt. So uh, I'm gonna make sure that they pay for everything correctly so I don't have to cut any corners on your roof. Like, and that, like that's only eight items that they originally estimated. I'm going to show you my estimate here, the final one that I got approved here in a second, and show you the difference in them. Another thing that they did on this house is they paid to just paint the water stains in the ceiling. Uh, I won't accept that. I, I'm going to at least get them to scrape and prime the ceilings, and then we'll, we'll reapply texture or paint the ceilings, whatever you please. Sometimes when painting those ceilings, uh, I, I, in this situation, we were reapplying texture. Uh, we did get some overspray on the walls. So that's when I took pictures of the walls and I got them to pay for the painting of the walls as well. So I'm gonna get this project taken care of correctly, the right way, and you're not gonna have to worry about any corners being cut. Uh, the initial estimate the insurance company come out to be was uh, $12,858. Now they're gonna withhold some depreciation to begin with of $3,871. And they'll give us that back once the work is completed. So they'll pay you that once it's completed for you to pay us. And you don't have to worry about paying us that depreciation amount until it comes in. Now your deductible, they're gonna withhold that and they're not gonna give you that expense. That will be the, the amount that you're gonna have to come out of pocket for. So they're gonna withhold that from the entire estimate and uh, you'll pay us that once we're complete. Now, so they initially estimated it to be $12,858, okay? So my entire, this is my final estimate here, and my final estimate comes out to be, as you can see, $27,667. So the total, uh, total difference in estimates here was a $12,000 or a $14,888. So more than what they initially estimated in difference in price. This is how much was left out of the process of this roof. So insurance companies can be bad about underpaying these things and you'll just be left high and dry with trying to figure out how to get it all taken care of, but not if you choose me. You're only gonna have to be responsible for your deductible and I'll make sure they include for the rest appropriately. Now, one thing I wanna ask you is, do you think there's any difference in the quality of job that the guy coming in here and taking the first estimate of $12,000 and just going forward and the quality of job that I can give you at 27,000, a total of $14,000 difference? Because I know the differences is I can go, I can buy the top notch materials everywhere, even on things you're not seeing, like underlayment, ridge shingles, everything I can buy top notch materials because I don't have to worry about you're saving a dollar because I'm gonna make it in the process. I'm gonna make a good profit on every claim that I handle and you're gonna get a good product every single time. Um, that's pretty much the insurance claim process. Uh, it, it takes about a month and a month and a half to get it all taken care of. But as soon as we get this first written approval back from your insurance company, we can schedule the work and we'll negotiate our differences out with them in the meantime. So we can go ahead and have the work completed before we even finish the, the negotiations part. We'll just, as soon as we have this first written estimate, we can put you on the schedule and we can get out there and put a roof on uh, within a week's time, just about right now. And it, it'll, t it'll take us one day to do your roof. So we'll get out there at seven o'clock in the morning, we'll finish it at five. And then once we finish the roof, that's when we'll start collecting payments, but we'll try to start the inside at the same day. And it'll take us about two days to do the inside, depending on the complexity of how many rooms it is. But that's the insurance process. Uh, if you would give me a call back, we'll, we'll talk further if you got any questions. Thank you, sir.